hour-long Ottawa County Commission meeting today was filled with public comment and discussion surrounding the 2024 budget. Yeah, but what really dominated was a conversation over how to implement early voting in the county. Now, before we get into everything that happened today, we want to help you understand exactly how we got here. So we go back to November. That's when Michigan voters weighed in on Proposal 2, which significantly changed how elections are run. It passed statewide, 60% of the vote, but it did fail in Ottawa County with 53.5% of people there voting no. Prop 2 adds nine days of early voting, expands the number of drop boxes, creates a system of ballot tracking, and expands voter ID laws, among some other changes. Ottawa County Clerk Justin Roebuck says his office has been planning and preparing for these changes for months. In February, they drafted a proposal laying out a brand new system of exactly how early voting was going to work. Roebuck explains that legal approved the language in June, and then on August 9th, about a month ago, he sent the plan to county commissioners for review. Now, last Tuesday, September 5th, the Ottawa County Finance and Administration Committee unanimously passed the early voting plan. After that vote, Chairman Joe Moss moved to add a line that would allow the board to approve where the four new early voting locations would be specifically. But as Roebuck explained then and reiterated to us today, the county commission has no legal authority over elections. Their only role is to approve funding for the early voting plan. This brings us to today, September 12th. The plan's financing was expected to go up for a vote, but instead, today's agenda listed it as a discussion item, meaning no vote would take place. Commissioners spent an hour discussing potential changes, like requiring the use of watermarked ballots. It's something Roebuck supports, but says he isn't sure they could acquire enough of the proper stock required. I think it's important to add features like watermarking, which is great technology. It's super easy for a voter to look at a ballot and say, oh yeah, this is an official ballot, and that's great. So we're gonna work hard to implement whatever security pieces that we can that are extras and additional to uh, the mandated election security that we have, right? The clerk's office is required by the state to submit their early voting plan to the county by September 30th. After that, they must submit the final approved plan to the state by October 31st. The next Board of Commissioners meeting is September 26th, just four days before the September 30th deadline. Roebuck says he does not think there are any consequences to missing those deadlines, but it would set the clerk's office and their preparations back significantly, with several major elections to prepare for next year.